guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training and today's video is how to master your backhand slice. So before we go into the steps, I want to mention that the chopper grip, continental grip, is the best option for your slice on the forehand or the backhand. This is the grip you're serving with, the grip you're volleying with, the grip you're hitting your smashes with. You can also slice with this grip. So the chopper grip is the recommended grip. So step number one to master your backhand slice as soon as you see the ball is coming to your backhand and you've decided to hit a slice, you're going to get sideways on with your body, especially your shoulder. So if you're a right-handed player, this means your right shoulder turning sideways like this. You're waiting in this position and you're moving to the ball in this position. So you're moving to the slice like this, sideways on. So step number one, a good unit turn, a good shoulder turn as soon as you see the ball is coming to your backhand. Step number two, you've turned your body sideways, so you're sideways on. You want to use your non-hitting hand, this is your left hand if you're right-handed, to lift the racket above your left shoulder. So somewhere here, you don't want it to rest on your left shoulder, you want it above your left shoulder like this. You have an L shape in your arm and your racket, which is going to give you leverage over the ball. So you're in this position here, your non-hitting hand is holding the throw to the racket, and not just holding it, but pulling it back, which creates more leverage. So you're in this position, it's almost like a box shape in this position. You're hitting elbows up at shoulder height, and from here, you're ready then to strike down the ball. So from this power position here, you're ready to go downwards as you hit the ball, and cut down the back of the ball. If the ball's lower, then you're going to still be in this position, but instead of going down, you're going to go more under the ball. So you're going to feel under the ball on the lower balls, on the higher balls, back of the ball, cutting downwards. Step number three, from this back position, you've hit the ball, you've made contact in front of your body, and your non-hitting hand, which is your left hand if you're right-handed, is going backwards and downwards to counteract the right hand coming forwards. So it's basically doing the same action that your right hand is doing, your hitting hand is doing, this way, but it's going the opposite direction to balance the upper body and keep your sideways. You don't want to open up on the, on the slice, you don't want to be going like this as you hit. That's a common mistake. You see a lot of players hit the slice and open the shoulder. If you watch Federer slice, one of the best slices in the world, he's staying sideways and he's using his left hand like this to counteract the right hand. So the left hand is going back and down like this, almost stretching your chest muscles as you do it. So you see the back this way. So from here, bam, you see Federer doing this aggressively. So the left hand going aggressive back and down to counteract the right hand. So a quick recap, step number one, as soon as you see the balls coming to your back and, and you've decided to hit a slice, get sideways on. That's step number one, you're moving to the ball sideways on. So if you're running on a, on a back and slice, you're moving sideways. You're not moving with side steps like this. Step number two, get into a good back position. Non-hitting hand holding the throw to the racket like this. Elbows bent, racket head higher in your left shoulder if you're right-handed. So you're in this position here. And step number three, after you've made contact in front of your body, the non-hitting hand going back and down to counteract the hitting hand. So this is your left hand if you're right-handed, going back and down. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video, please click like. Leave a comment below. If you want any videos made in the future, please leave a comment below this video. 